With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question is find which of the variable x, y, z and u represent a rational numbers. Okay. So the given question is in four part. Okay. And here we have to find each part that the given number in the each part is either rational or irrational. Okay. So the first part is given to us that is x square equals to 5. Okay. So when we will take a square root of this number then it will be x equals to square root 5. Okay. And here we know 5 is not a square of any number. Okay. So this value is only square root 5. Okay. And here we know if any value which is given to us in a square root that is a square root 3. So this 3 is not a square of any particular number. So this is definitely a irrational, irrational number. Okay. So here is square root 5 is also a irrational number. Okay. Irrational number. And here if we talk about the second part, the second part is given to us that is y square equals to 9. Okay. So when we will take a square root, then it will be y equals to square root 9. Okay. Then y equals to, we can also write it 9 as a 3 square. Okay. So here square root will be cancelled out with a square. Then the remaining is y equals to 3. And here we know this 3 is a rational number. Okay. So here we have to find that which of the variable represent the irrational number. So this is not a rational number. So here we will write not irrational number. Okay. The third part which we have given to us that is z square equals to 0 0.04. Okay. The third part is z square equals to 0 0.04. Okay. So when we will simplify it then we can also write it as z square as 0 0.2 whole square. Okay. So when we will take a square root then z equals to 0 0.2. Okay. This 0 0.2 is basically a rational number. Okay. It is a rational number number okay rational number so the third part is not also a rational number here we will note down the fourth part the fourth part is given to us here it is u square equals to 400 upon 4 okay u square equals to 400 upon 4 okay here 400 will be cancelled out with 4 hundred times okay then u square equals to 100. Okay. When we will take a square root, then u equals to 10. And this 10 is a rational number. Rational number. Okay. So here we can say in the given question, the number which is given in first part is only a rational number. Except this, the second part and third part and fourth part is a rational number. Okay. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and neat level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.